Alright, hey guys, what is up? This is another QT Creator tutorial, and today we're going to be going over how to uh, create a QSFML widget for uh, your UI form editor. This will be probably the last QT and SFML tutorial. Um, I don't know, that's to be that's to be decided, I guess. But uh, anyway, let's begin. So we're going to add a C++ class. We're going to call it QSFML widget. Its base class is going to be QWidget. We're going to include QObject next. Good. And uh, whatever it appears here. There we go. So next we're going to include SFML graphics. And then it's also going to inherit from a public SF render window. So, and uh, now we're going to add some methods, uh, virtual q paint engine pointer paint engine const. Uh, this is just an override method. Um, this is required for creating a, as for creating your own custom widget, uh, virtual void uh, show event show event event virtual void paint event paint event virtual void uh, on init virtual void on update uh, basically these two events are overrides from a queue widget. Um, they're what will control the loop and uh, basically the render window creation. So now we hop over to the source file. Um, oh, we also need some private variables. Excuse me. So we need to have a private queue timer m underscore timer. A private bool m underscore init initialized, eh, why not, probably spelled it wrong, I don't care, uh, so we're going to include queue timer, so now we hop on over to the source file, uh, basically in the make list right here, we want to m initialized false, There we go. Uh, the Q paint engine pointer QSFL widget paint engine const. Uh, we're just going to return zero or null. Null is just defined to zero. It's like, oops, don't want to do that. It's like it's just hashtag defined. Uh, so void QSFML widget uh, show event Q show event event and basically here we just go if m initialized equals false and then basically we want to um, sf render window create reinterpret underscore cast sf window handle win id on init and then connect the address of our timer uh, signal timeout and 
we want to add this. And finally, slot retaint. And we're done. Oh, I guess not. There we go. Now we're done. Uh, basically, this just connects the class saying, hey, you know, it's a widget. Don't know what all this trailing white space is. Um, and then we start our timer. And we want to say we initialized. So now void QSML widget paint event. Paint event. Oh, what are we supposed to do here? Uh, uh, Oh, that's right. Uh, we call on update, and then render window display. Actually, wait. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, we go render window clear. And then you spell render window right. There we go. And then uh, void QSML widget on init. Uh, you just say to be overridden. Or just file widget on update. Same thing there. And now we want to uh, go ahead and set some attributes. So set attribute qtwa underscore oh let's look at my notes uh, paint on screen didn't mean to do that set attribute qtwa underscore opaque paint event Dang it. Set attribute qt wa underscore no system background. And then set focus policy qt strong focus. And um, this is almost it. Um, this is an optional thing. I'm not going to personally do it, but it's... I mean, we might as well do it. It's kind of redundant for me anyway. So basically, if def q w s x 11 and if... So then if it's defined, we include... I have to look at my notes here because it won't actually autocomplete this for me. Um, QT. Gee, thanks QT for that uh, that help right there. Uh, slash Q X eleven info underscore X eleven dot H. And include x11 slash x11 lib dot h. Right. No, just x lib. Not sure. It's, yeah. According to my computer, files don't exist. Maybe if it's uh, for you. Mm. So I'm just going to copy this because I didn't mean to do that. So then basically this is just uh, saying uh, flush it. So x flush. Q 
qx11info display hashtag and diff um, the link to where I got this information will be in the description below I mean this is just uh, point for point copying what they did um, so okay so now we uh, we create another class we go we're gonna go ahead and create another class we're gonna add new C++ class we're just gonna call this SML canvas next yep go ahead add it uh, just for some Q widget pointer parent QSFML canvas parent uh, so then this one we just include QSFML widget and it should be good for that one uh, inherits from QSFML widget Gonna clean up a little bit. Explicit uh, Q wrong place. Q widget parent. By default, it is null. So then, void on init override void on update override and then just uh, we're going to add some private variables so we can draw to the screen um, mm, a private sf texture underscore text SF sprite underscore sprite. So that's good. Um, so now you're going back into here. Uh, this is this is all what we want. So now SF ML canvas on init. Void. So if not m underscore text dot load from file default underscore texture dot ng and uh, basically all this is uh, this it's just gonna be in the same place that we dropped the uh, binary so. Um, let's see here. So in the debug, just the same place we put the binaries. Oops. Uh, huh. Um, so then just std cout failed to find texture. I have to include IO stream for this C and L. And then uh, M underscore sprite dot set texture. Uh, M underscore text. M underscore sprite dot set position SF vector two F just something random. Alright, so that's done with the on init, so void SFML canvas on update. This dot 
raw. Yeah, I think it's going to create an ambiguous function, so I'll just render window draw, just to be safe, underscore sprite. And alright, so that should be, uh, that should be fine. So we go ahead and build it, make sure there are no errors. Ah, uh, oops, that should be widget, there we go, so now it will build, so successfully built. Uh, now we go into our forms, um, and I've already kind of expanded this a little bit. So basically, what we do now is we go into the containers section. Oops, I don't know what I grabbed. Go into the container section. We just find an empty widget. I just go ahead and drop it, and then we spread it to the entire size of the screen. Then what we want to do is we want to promote it. Uh, the promoted class name we go SFML Canvas. And that's the header file name. Send we add. So we promote it. So now, whenever we uh, we have to build it again. So it's successfully built. Uh, why is it not letting me run it? The heck. Run to make what do I have to do? Dot profile cannot be parsed. That's good. It's real good. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? Alright, just gonna switch this over to release mode really quick, see if that helps. Alright, so now it'll let us build. We're gonna run over back to debug. Alright, so now whenever we run it, should have a little gray square right on the middle of the screen. And uh, that's it. It's that simple. Um, so now you are free to use this knowledge however you please. Um, just a for fair warning, I don't know if I'm going to be doing many more QT Creator uh, videos. I'm probably going to I'm gonna be switching back to Visual Studio, mostly because uh, finding things built for the MVC compiler is a little bit easier than finding things built for the MinGW. Um, but you will be seeing some OpenGL videos heading your way here pretty soon, some 3D OpenGL stuff. Uh, shaders, you know, all that good stuff. It's going to be coming your way. Anyways, I will see you all later.